Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Wave goodbye to Winter Wild Cards, but say hello to that Fire versus Ice promo that we see on the loading screen with those pretty insane card designs. It is coming today in FC24, but the question that everybody is asking is, will this promo be good? We're going to take a look at the leaks, players we're seeing today, SBCs that are expected to come today, as well as a new evolution to break that down. And I really want to talk about the market, especially with some store packs that have been added to the code and everything on this game right now, where it's trending as we get into today's content. So if you're excited for the promo today, or at least just like curious to see how that card design looks in game with players on it, like I am, drop a thumbs up on the video. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's quickly go over yesterday's content, as we always do. And it was a decently quiet Thursday, but we had an SBC that's got people talking, all right? I know that the SBCs for Winter Wild Cards haven't been that good, and this one to me isn't great by any stretch of the imagination, but it is interesting at the very least. Center mid position changed, yet another position change for a Winter Wild Cards icon, Trezegue. He is medium, medium, he is four star, four star, and he has the Energizer Plus, as I call it, but the Relentless Plus. <laughs> Uh, playstyle plus which is pretty solid and he's got a couple other ones he doesn't have any passing or other midfielder-esque play styles which i don't like but this is a very interesting boost for a card and stats on a card that when a lot of people look at this they say nate this is an incredible spc for only a hundred thousand coins like what a card this is and i don't disagree it is a interesting looking card personally i just have an agenda against medium medium work rates i'm not a fan i'm sure he's decent in game and i like the price that ea have set here as a doable price if you want to do this spc i don't hate it yes a lot of people are comparing this card trezeguet to hull it right because he actually has very similar stats to the hull it spc that was dropped and right here as you can see that i completed is 2.5 million coins like yo this trezeguet is like a cheaper version like obviously two million coins cheaper than hullet and he's almost the same card you can also kind of compare him to rabio who is in winter wild cards team three i don't think this is a bad sbc i just think that it's one that's it's 100k for a reason he's not gonna play like hullet in game hullet's just different gravy it's gonna be an interesting sbc if you want to do it go and do it i'm probably not going to but it is a decent sbc it's 41 percent upvoted and i think people like it because it's a french icon and it always helps out with links for french players so there are some pretty compare pretty crazy comparisons that are out there for that card but that was our sbc yesterday and as you could take a look at the upvote downvote it's about 50 50. it's actually really similar to the like John Stone situation with his SBC. Some people didn't like it, some people did. So that's kind of the situation with Trezor Gay. Kind of a personal decision. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. That's kind of as far as it goes. Now, really quick, just notice this. EA finally upgraded Alfonso Davies and Gerd Muller. They deserved that last plus one, and they finally got it. And Gerd Muller has gone up a ton. He's gone up from 750,000 coins to 900k. I don't know if he's worth that price and or if that price will last, uh, but he finally got his upgrade. Alfonso Davies is up like 30, 40k as well. He probably is going to keep going. Um, I could imagine. I know Bundesliga links aren't that hot at the moment, but we do have a couple of Bundesliga players in Coman and Upa Makano coming out today for the promo team, but they finally got those upgrades out, so GG's to EA for that. Also, yesterday we had the last set of marquee matchups, um, which actually did make some Serie A players go up in value, and there's also a bit of a funny glitch with this. Uh, you see over here on this Boa Vista versus FC Porto SBC, they have a minimum overall rating of 18, not chemistry, 18. I think they meant chemistry, but they put overall rating instead. So kind of a funny one there for that SBC for marquee matchups, nothing crazy, but they did give us a mega pack. And also I think it was the last 10 coin pack of the promo to be dropped in the store. So make sure you get that one done before content today. And that is basically the end of winter wild cards. What a what an up and down last couple weeks it's been on Winter Wild Cards, that's for sure. But let's talk about the promo that's coming today, though, because this is, uh, once again, where it gets interesting. We're ending our kind of marquee winter promo that maybe didn't hit super insane this year, but still wasn't terrible. And we're going into the versus fire versus ice promo and we've looked at the leaks but i want to quickly go through them once again because we think this promo is going to be just like it was two years ago in fifa 22 let's look through the leaked players first of all to start off of course we've got hyunmin sun we've got kamavinga we've got neymar right that's the headliner card today neymar special card for him his gold cards up a lot on the market for sure uh kingsley coman as we mentioned right that fire dynamic uh the fire car design with dynamics i mean that card just looks sick to me looks incredible uh we've got alvaro morata 
We have got Roberto Firmino, who's I'm, I'm really interested to see how his card looks today. That could be really good with the right boost. We've got Ub Makano, as we mentioned, French center back. And a couple of new ones that we haven't looked at yet. We've got Marta, who EA just gave out in the draft objective, her Centurion's SBC card. Um, that's a really interesting item. We've got a Asensio PSG linking Spanish Asensio. That's going to be an interesting card as well to see how much he's um juiced and uh on this game i pack his gold card all the time super annoying so hopefully this card's packable that'd be cool we've also got kieran trippier that's a new leak of a card that is coming into this promo and then we've got gavi as our sbc we're going to be talking about that that's kind of a that's a big name sbc to be honest a barca player a young prodigy like gavi a lot of people will be very interested in doing that sbc um i don't think it's going to be insane but hopefully it's decent we'll look at that today and then we do have sissoko who has been just leaked He's probably going to be like discard price, um, but, you know, that's kind of like a FIFA legend. Sergio Ramos is leaked as well. We've seen that one. That's a big card that I'm looking forward to today to see how much EA juice up his pace and make him usable. They got to do something big here uh, for, for Sergio Ramos, we think. And then, of course, a couple of other ones coming in here from yesterday. We've got Hideki as a goalkeeper, which... I'm very interested to see how this works, right? Because, again, with the versus Fire and Ice, the way that it worked in FIFA 22 was there were two promo teams of the exact same players. One was the Fire players. They were in packs first. Like this Gabby Jesus had five-star skills, three-star weak foot, and it had more pace but less shooting than the Ice version, right? Which had less pace but more shooting and a four-star weak foot in being 4-4, right? So that's what they kind of do with this promo is they mess with maybe some skill move and some weak foot upgrades. They change around the stats a little bit and make the cards like you see here, like close, like this one's got higher diving and less handling. This one's got lower diving and greater handling. I know it's not really a good comparison for like a goalkeeper card, but if you take a look at like this Sissoko again, you see this one's got a little bit more pace. This one's got a little less pace, but it's got better shooting and it's almost Hullet Gang, while this one looks more like maybe a center back type of thing. So there should be some position changes, maybe some alternative position changes. Play styles should be very interesting with this as well with these cards. And that's what I'm, I think I'm the most excited about for this promo is how will the fire versus the ice cards look differently? There's definitely going to be versions that look better for the fire for some players and for the ice for other ones. But I do believe if they did, if they do run it like they have in the past, I think it'll just be the fire players in packs and then the ice players would come out next week. It could be a two week promo unless they decide to put like both versions in packs at the same time. They can do that. I mean, right now we have an informed Salah and a uh, Salah from Winter Wild Cards in packs at the exact same time. So you can have two different versions of a special card for the same player in packs at the same time. Uh, but those are all the leaks that we have for players that are coming today. So we're going to talk about those cards and how I think they'll move on the market a little bit more. But those are the cards that are coming to this game today. Now, let's talk about SBCs. Of course, a lot of our winter wild cards packs are going away. The 83 plus team of the week going away today. 85 double going away. Uh, the 80 plus player pick, sadness, it's going away, right? That SBC is amazing. Um, the draft token is still available. So a lot of your daily gold are still here. I think the daily login goes away as well. Um, and the Winter Wild Cards 100 upgrade is going away. The 86 plus base or triple threat hero player pick is refreshing today. That's an SBC to watch out for. And I'm actually kind of interested in this one because um, it should bring back a little bit of demand for informs. Now, I'm not investing in informs. And that SBC was completed by so many people last week that I think people are actually buying informs for that very reason today. Informs were, I believe, just below 30,000 coins earlier. Now they're approaching 31K. I think people are investing in the informs side of the market for that 86 plus hero player pick. I am not a fan of investing in informs at 30K, man. I want to see them go lower. I know there's SBCs that are still requiring them, but there's not as many, which is, again, troubling to me as to why informs are still like. 31,000 coins. I figured they would have dropped to like 25k, but they have not yet. I think it's because a lot of people are investing. And if that's the case, I'm, I might be out. If they go to 40k tomorrow, which I think is almost impossible, I think if they go up tomorrow at all, they probably go to like 34 or 35k, like a small bounce. And then hopefully they drop later on during the weekend. And then we have an opportunity to get in for an investment, maybe for like next week or something like that. But uh, yeah, I should also say that we probably will get the team of the week player pick back. I know that that expires like every single Friday, but it's been coming back every single Friday as well. So that should keep team of the weeks in check. But watch out for that hero pick because it is cheap. It is fun to do. And that is an SBC. It's refreshing today, but probably won't impact the market that much. Now, 
I should have done this first, but let's go actually like back in time before 6 p.m. content today early. I do expect to see our La Liga player of the month. And unfortunately, guys, everybody is disappointed. Not everybody, but a lot of people are disappointed because the expectation, I don't know why, but the expectation was set that Rodrigo from Madrid was going to win this award. But it is absolutely, it is actually Artem Dovbik from the Girona side that has been absolutely lights out recently in La Liga and uh, deserved, 100% deserved player of the month card for him. Probably not the most meta card. He needs a big time boost in his weak foot, his skill moves, and of course the stats in his card. 87, 88 rated. It's probably going to be pretty cheap, but that should be our La Liga player of the month. And I think it'll drop today before 6 p.m. content time or whatever content time is for you. I am expecting to see that SBC. I don't think we'll see this today. I think this is an SBC for either Saturday or Sunday, but our flashback leak we talked about in yesterday's video. It's not Raheem Sterling. It is Danny Welbeck, who also needs an interesting boost to his card to make it really usable. So we'll talk about this probably a little bit more uh, tomorrow. Um, I'm, not, I'm not expecting it today. I'm really not. Usually on a promo Friday, they like to drop the SBC of a player that is related to the promo. And we've already looked at the card, so we kind of already know who we're getting today, expected to get today. This is the man, Gavi, right? And his base card... It's interesting, right? Gavi has a base 83. You've probably packed it a ton of times when you're like, oh my goodness, could this be Puteas? Could this be Bonmati? Because they're both center mids, right? Um, in the Barcelona, right? Spanish Spanish center mid Barcelona. You're like, oh, who could it be? And, and it's always Gavi or maybe Pedri, right? But uh, Gavi's card... He's got three-star, three-star. He's got high, high work rates. He's short. He's great with passing. He's got uh, really good dribbling as well on his base card stats, 85 dribbling. But it's going to come down to the boost and the price for this card today. This is a big-name player, right? This is an SBC. What can I compare it to, man? Like, maybe Rodrigo or maybe even Martinelli, right? This could be somewhere in between there. Rodrigo, remember his SBC when it came out? Everybody was so excited because it was so well-priced. It was a bit expensive, but it was a card that was ahead of the power curve for its time. Everybody wanted to do it. Big-name player from a big-name club with big-time links, right? That was a, an SBC that a ton of people loved, and it made fodder go up. Everybody loved this SBC, right? And then, like, the other side of the coin would be Martinelli because Martinelli was also a well-known big-name player, Brazilian as well, compared to, to Rodrigo. And he was just a bit expensive, right? And a lot of people didn't like this SBC because it was expensive. But a lot of people have still done this one because it's a pretty good card. And EA gave it a nice boost. So how will our um, how will I, our Gavi, our Gavi work today? Will he be 87, 88, 89 rated? Will he look like this card? If he looks like this card and has like five-star skills and a four-star weak foot or something crazy like that, then it might make some things move on the market. Um I don't know, man. I, I think some people are like, yo, should I sell my Kunde or should I sell midfielders because of this Gavi SBC coming? I don't think it's going to be that insane, guys. I think it should be good, but I don't think it's going to be crazy. And also, I think a lot of people play this Kunde at center back. So there might be a little bit of panic selling right after content on a card like this, this Kunde. But you could see him go up later on because, I mean, let's be honest. This is a player that a lot of Barca fans, or even if you run a La Liga midfield and you need a center attacking mid or a center mid, if his card looks halfway decent, even if it's expensive, people might go out and do it. So watch some of your Barca links today uh, for some potential movement with that SBC. It really comes down to how much they boost the card, right? As it does for a lot of these SBCs. Maybe they'll continue the Winter Wild Cards trend and make him expensive and, and not boost his card that much, and it won't be hyped at all, and it'll just seem like an L. And that's what we don't hope for, but, man, that's kind of the things. That's kind of the way that things have been going recently. So that's kind of the SBC content that I'm expecting for today, the refresh of the 86-plus player pick for the hero side of things, and then, of course, that Gavi will make things at least a little bit interesting. Now let's go to Evolutions because we have some leaks here as well for an Evo that could be or is supposed to be coming today on this game and that evolution is a very interesting one and it's an evolution that we can kind of tell we can, can kind of tell it's going to happen right because it has a very very low pace requirement maximum pace 73 it's expected to be released today now i will say some of these leaks for evolutions have been off by a day or two this might not be an evolution that drops today. Maybe there's another one. I would expect an Evo today, though, for sure. I do think we'll get one. But this Evo is max overall 86, pace 73. There's a maximum shooting, which is very low. So, again, this Evo definitely seems 
tuned towards center backs, right backs, or left backs. Maximum passing 81, and it must not be a CDM. And also, here's an interesting one. Maximum alternative positions, two, which is very interesting. So you can't evil a player who's got three alternative positions. And I think what that means is if you look at the card, right, you've got your primary position, which is on the front of the card, but then you've got alternative positions as well. So like Sergio Roberto, he's center mid and his alternative positions are right wing back and right back. So in my opinion, he would be like, if you have two alternative positions, that means you can be Evo. He's got three positions in total, but two alternative so I think that's the type of card that could be Evo. But if you have three or more, which is not super common, but it's there sometimes, um, you won't be able to put a player in this Evo. But it's got to be a massive pace boost Evo, right, guys? If you're putting in somebody who's max pace 73, you got to be getting up to like 80 pace at least, maybe even a little bit above that, especially for a center back and where the Evos have been recently. So this could be a decent Evo if it's free. I'm hoping that it is. And it might be a good opportunity. Kind of reminds me of that pacey protector evolution that we had at the very early stage of the year. Remember when a lot of people Evoed Matip? I think it was our second evolution that we had of the entire year. And it was an evolution that got Matip from like 61 pace up to like 70 something, 75 pace, which was cool for the start of the game. Maybe it's something like that where you're going to get a plus 10 or plus 12 pace boost to get you like above 80 or right to 80 at the maximum kind of boost with some passing and defending boost as well. We'll see, right? It seems geared towards defenders. So if it is a really, really good Evo today, some defenders, some center backs could drop. We've had so many Evos recently that have suited upgrades towards that side of the pitch. Uh, like I'm doing Sessignon right now, who's a left back, right? A lot of center backs like Saliba have been Evo recently. So just be careful with center backs. If that Evo is sick, might not be that good. But if you wondered why this Dante is extinct and if why he was on the front page of Footbin yesterday for a long time, it's because he fits the Evo and uh, he could be pretty nice. If you imagine like plus 10 pace on this, 80 pace, couple of upgrades to passing, dribbling, defense, and then maybe a play style added onto the card as well. Like that could be a pretty solid item with a big pace boost there. So that's the hype for an Evo today. It doesn't seem that insane, right? But it seems decent at least. Now, let's talk about a little bit with these new cards coming into the game, which I believe, let me double check. The card designs were uploaded. Oh my, they are here. Versus Fire and Versus Ice. Like I'm excited for these cards today just because the card design, but I'm also really interested to see how this promo gets priced and how the pack weight is for this promo as well. You guys know Winter Wild Cards, it was easy to pack the lower tier guys. Like we have so many cards that are near discard price right now, or some of them need price range downgrades uh, so that they actually be on the market. But there was tons of promo packs that were released. The lightning rounds, especially on the Friday, the Saturday, the Sunday, they went crazy on the lightning rounds for this promo. Now I'm not expecting them to go as crazy with um, the new versus promo today, fire versus ice, but there have been some new packs added to the code that make me at least think about how these cards will be priced in the market today. Let's take a look at these packs because there's some good ones and there's also some not so good ones. First of all, we have an 88 plus player pick, untradeable. Okay, that's cool. I don't know where that's going to be, but that'll imagine an SBC for an 88 plus rare player pick. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, Ultra versus pack. This is the big one, right? Remember last week we had an 88 times 11. We've got an 88 times 14 now. That also includes an 87 plus base icon and versus players on loan player picks. Now it's untradeable, but remember this pack, I believe uh, the 88 times 11 or whatever one was released last week had like it, it helped the drop along with the 84 times 10 tradable lightning round, it did definitely impact the prices of like 88 to 90 rated players. They dropped a lot those first two weekends of winter wild cards because of this pack and other tradable lightning rounds. So that's something to keep an eye on. I wouldn't panic sell your 88s, your 89s. Like if you have some of that stuff, I don't think I would panic sell it. At least um, it might drop today with like tradable supply. A lot of people are doing SBCs, but I don't think this pack is going to make it drop. I also don't think this pack will be dropped today on Friday. It's probably going to be on Sunday. We have an elite versus pack as well, which is your typical 100 players pack, but at 47 players guaranteed to be 84 above and 388 or above. They're just giving out so much fodder. That seems to be the store packs right now. I mean, the last couple of weeks we've seen it, right? This is the ultra wild card pack. 88 times 11 with three winter wild card players inside of it. So much fodder. We had the the one that's like the 83 times 70 that was here in the store as well, or still is in the store. Like there's so many of those packs that just give out tons and tons and tons of fodder along with the tradable lighting rounds. That's why our fodder on the lower tier is so low. Um, you've got another pack in here. That's another one of those, a special pack for you. We haven't seen a single one of these yet drop in the store. 
So I don't know what they're doing. I just checked the store as well, and it's been re reordered. You got a 500k pack showing right here at the beginning. It was sorted by like cheapest to most expensive earlier today, and now it's just all like jumbled up again. I don't know what's going on in the store. I don't know if they're changing anything today. Um, but with a lot of these packs and the way that they look, um, and thinking about how many packs people are going to be opening today, I don't know about you guys, but the only reason I have packs right now to, to that are sitting here are because I completed some objectives. I'm not saving packs for today. If anything, maybe I'll do a set of 80 plus player picks just for the fun of it to see if I get lucky and pack anything. But honestly, a lot of people are now are like this promo mm, doesn't have a good vibe from the last time that was in this game. People might be saving their packs for team of the year. And I don't think that's going to make these cards today, you know, any cheaper on the market. If people are saving packs, they're not opening a lot for today. Yes, they still could run some lightning rounds. They could run the 84 times 10 lightning rounds that do make the card prices get supplied. These new cards could get supplied a lot today. But I really think it might be a situation where these new promo cards are kind of expensive and rare to start off with, which could make them really good trades. But also at the same time, I think that would make people not want to buy them if they're super expensive. Like imagine a versus ice player comes out today like i don't know let's say like the upa makano let's say upa makano comes out today and he's like 500k and then you look at like the editor militao who's 700k and he's a way better card than milita than upa makano you're like why don't i just go buy that or you look at the kyle walker center back who's 380 and you're like well why don't i just go buy that i think a lot of people like myself are invested in these winter wild cards because we just feel like today this promo is not going to be that crazy and it's going to make people say nah i don't want to go buy these new cards i just rather go and use what is already out there what has been released with winter wild cards and i'll go buy up and use some of these cards instead so that's why i'm still holding on to my investments i think today might just be kind of a mid content day now i'm probably going to sell some things i'm probably going to sell a few cards here take the coins on a few of these even if it means breaking even or a little bit of a tax loss just so that i have some coins i hate going into a promo friday with no coins and that's that's i hate that right because fridays are usually good days to watch the market for sure um so i've got to probably sell a couple things today but i'm still going to keep a lot of my winter wild card investments i feel very strongly that like there's a really good chance that a lot of these cards can continue to rise during the weekend on the low tier, right? Again, guys, we keep saying low tier. I like the low tier the most. Uh, Goretzka's 216. That's pretty low, right? I mean, that's a card that I would, I would think about buying. I can't lie to you. I mean, the lowest that I've seen him is like 210. If he's actually 216, I'd be halfway interested in buying that or maybe catching a snipe here because that's a card that is pretty rare, I think, compared to some of the other winter wild cards. You've got Upma Kano. And you've got um, Coman coming today. Yes, I'd be a little worried about Gavi, but, you know, maybe he goes up to 230 during the weekend. Even with Team of the Year looming, guys, even with Team of the Year looming, I still think there is potential for these Winter Wild Cards. Not all of them, but some of them to go up this weekend just because they might be cheaper and cooler to people still than what the cards that come out on this game today are. So that's why I'm pretty... I mean, I'm interested in the market for sure, but I think there will be good opportunities to trade today, maybe flip the new cards, but also just to keep holding on to investments that you maybe already have. Now, again, I do want to mention fodder. We talked about the 86 plus player pick returning today for informs. We talked about informs, but for the rest of the fodder market, right? The high tier has been going up. 88s, they're 18K. They were 16. 89s are 34, right? They were 30. 90s were 50 they're 48k now they're 57 what a rise on de bruyne he was 65 now he's 80k if they drop the 84 times 10 tradable lightning round multiple times or even just once today that could hurt some of the fodder but i think this weekend maybe even today will be one of our last chances because i think so many less people are going to be opening packs i think it'll be one of our last chances to get in on 83s 84s 85s 86s so if you want to wait till after content i think that's a smart move you got weekend league rewards tradable packs it'll be open get on bids right fridays have been insane after content for bids on the fodder side of the market to stock your club because prices drop i remember last week people were winning like 87s for like four or five thousand coins like minimum price almost 88s for like 10k super duper cheap 89s for like 20k right and they're 33,000 coins Get on the bids for fodder today. I think there could be good opportunities to stock your club, and it might be one of the last chances to invest before it'll probably continue to rise 
next week into team of the year as people are opening less packs and saving packs but at the same time wanting to do those sbcs man we're going to get upgrade packs that people will want to save and want to do kind of like a pre team of the year promo that's kind of what we're investing for now and thinking ahead of time about one week and a half down the line so that's kind of the preparation that you might be able to do today on this game as well now the last thing i want to talk about is team of the year we kind of just mentioned it there was some team of the year news yesterday, and we're going to cover this a lot more as we get closer and closer. But guys, we are three days away. Monday is when the voting officially opens for team of the year. And accidentally, EA yesterday not only put out this web page, which confirms that this is EA's website, right? By the way, this isn't a leak. This is this is the real deal. Um, they also put out all of the players that are in and the team of the year designs. They put out all the players that are in the, the voting list, right? You can look through this list here. Um, and look through some of the players that are in the list. There are some interesting things, like it shows Frimpong and Jonathan Klaus in the attacker side of things, so maybe this list is not finalized yet or sorted correctly, um, but Messi's in it, Ronaldo's in it. There's a lot, Most of all the players you would expect to see in this vote uh, is in the vote, and also the women's list too. So this voting is going to be coming out. You don't have to go crazy over the list. Like It's not that big of a deal. The list will be coming out officially um, on Monday when this voting opens, but that is probably when the hype for Team of the Year will start to build. Of course, it doesn't drop until the 19th, but the voting looks like it is going to be live then. And like we just saw, these are the official car designs added to the code. Yeah, man. I, I don't know. I need to think about this team new design. It looks good. I don't know what I think about all that stuff going on in the middle there. That's that's a little bit different from previous year's team of the year design. It looks good, but it looks a little bit different. Like with this, it looks like almost like a tire tread or something. I don't know what's going on here. It looks good. It, it's going to look insane with the card design on it, of course, as well. That's like a nominee or a honorable mentions card design. Of course, we've been having those the past few years. Not as cool, right? It's got, instead of gold, it's got kind of the silver. It's a bit darker. Still looks decent, but this card just looks so insane, with especially the border, right? Actually, looks it kind of reminds me of like FIFA 22 team of the year with the, the edges down here at the bottom. So we'll see, have to see how it's animated and stuff because that'll be an animated card design as well. And this is the icon design for team of the year. A lot going on with this one, a lot going on. But those are the card designs for team of the year and some of the news to expect. But uh, yeah, guys, I'm excited for today just because FC versus, I know we're kind of downplaying it and we're talking down on it a little bit, but I'm, I'm a little excited for today because I'm excited to see are EA going to actually give some good boost to these cards? And what type of play styles are they going to change on a, an ice versus a fire card version? Will versus fire Neymar be a center attacking mid? And will the versus ice be like left wing? Will they do a little bit of position changing like they did with winter wild cards? Hopefully not shapeshifter-esque, but maybe just something that shows, I don't know, a card that is, you know, has different alternate positions of like Valverde being center mid and right wing. Maybe one version's with more pace and can play right wing, but the other word, other versions a center mid type of thing for some of these cards dropping today. So I'm excited to see that at least. And hopefully they gave us some good objective and SBC content. We should get an objective player today as well. I didn't mention that. There's no leaks for that right now. But uh, we should see some of that today on this game as well. So if you're excited for versus Ice or at least just curious about what it's going to look like, drop a thumbs up on the video once again. Comment down below if you have any questions. Subscribe if you're new. You're up to date with everything related to FC24. I'll see you guys in Twitch stream today. That link is down below in the description. It's been Nate's account. See you guys there. Peace.